Hello and welcome to this module where we want to understand how exactly the web works. Uh, first to go with the basics, so uh, let's compare the web to the analogy of a house. If the internet is the street, the web hosting is the land you purchase and the domain name is the address what you have and the website is the house you build on the land. So if someone on the internet which is the street wants to come to your house they have to know your address which is the domain name and at the address you have to have a proper house built so that like the user who comes to your address sees something meaningful so the meaningful part here is the actual website you build so this is the first part so now moving on to the second part what happens when the user enters a certain URL in the browser Say now he enters this URL www.dnsstuff.com in the browser's window. The first step what happens is this particular domain name has to get translated to a particular IP address. The domain name system was built so that like the humans cannot remember too many numbers like this in their mind. It's easier to remember dnsstuff.com then remember 63.115.78.98 but the computer it wants to go to this particular address so for that there is something called DNS servers which are located so this DNS servers what they do is they convert this piece of text in English to an actual physical address so this address is now passed on to the browser so now the browser sends the HTTP GET request which is nothing but a request to get data from external uh, server. So now this request is now sent to the web server and then this web server will now provide the browser with a set of data which is nothing but a HTML data stream. So this data is now brought towards the web browser and the browser what it does is it renders this coding piece of code into a visible website so this is the entire flow on what exactly happens right from the time a user opens a browser and clicks enter and a website is actually displayed so to view this more efficiently what I'll do is I'll do give you a quick demo of how this works so this can be determined using this tracer t command uh, which is built in in Windows. So what I'll attempt to reach is do is uh, how many how does the request now go from my browser which is located in India to google.com servers which will be located in California US. So this trace route will now tell me what is the route which uh, the entire data stream actually takes. If you see the moment I gave enter, so this google.com got translated to 216.58.220.36. This piece of translation happened from this particular piece which I say as DNS server. So this DNS server has converted this domain name to a physical IP address which is like this number. So now a request is now seen being sent to my web server. To reach the web server itself there are multiple phases because now my internet I have an internet service provider who is ISP so all my data requests will have to go via him. So the first step what happens is the request is now sent to this this 192.68.1.1 which is my router's IP address and then it goes to my internet service provider and then it goes via multiple hops for example if I want to go to the US this might go to a certain data center located in the Singapore and then 72 dot this might be a certain data center which is located in the US and finally I get this website displayed to me from 216.58.220.36 so this is the entire route what it takes and if you see the amazing part here is everything happens in the matter of milliseconds where I get data from google.com which is located in the US several thousand miles away in less than few few seconds so this I hope uh, with this course you basically understand how exactly the web works and what exactly is a website what is a web host what is a domain name and what is a DNS
थैंक यू